here and I'm going to do a little tutorial on the harmonium. Uh, we're at the Funky Ohm, which is a yoga studio in Huntington, New York. Um, the harmonium is a really great instrument and uh, it was originally a German instrument that had legs and the legs got uh, chopped off in transit or broke in transit and then in India it came and they kind of liked it because it lended itself towards their droning kirtan um, mood that they have so a lot of the instruments in India will drone so there'll just be like this sound in the background and it's a nice even sound and then they'll chant over that so this kind of worked well with their their culture um, and in the yoga culture now it's really great for kirtan which is devotional chanting and so we're just going to go over some of the basics of the harmonium um, and how to connect to your voice that's one of the biggest things is people are scared i have no musical background um, I've since taken up learning things about music. I don't have an exceptional voice. Um, I have a friend that says that I don't have an offensive voice anymore, which is kind of what, I've, what I'm going for. I, I just don't want to be offensive when I, when I sing. Um, and these, uh, this is called sorghum, and it's uh, just a way to connect to each note, and then we'll go over a very simple chant at the end, and I'll do other videos after this and how to do this. So I'm going to teach from C uh, in uh, C sharp. Um, it's just where I was originally taught, um, but I'm going to transpose it to the C major scale just so we can. I'm going to kind of bounce and forth back in between Indian music and, um, and Western music. So if we find here, we can look at the top of the keyboard and you can see something of the way it's kind of situated where there's two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys. And this would go on infinitum, right? It's, it's, music is very similar to math in that it's based off of vibrational quality and it repeats itself over and over. So there's seven primary notes in Indian music, and there's seven primary notes in Western music as well. So the first note we're going to chant is Sa. So we just want to find Sa. Sa. So this is C sharp. Sa. Now the next note on the scale is Re. Sa, Sa, Re, Sa, Re. So I'm just going back and forth between C sharp and D sharp. Sa, Re. So these two black keys right here. Sa. It's going to catch right here. So I have Sa, Re, Ga, which is F. Sa, Re, Ga, Sa. Then 
Then the next one is Da, DHA. Da. Radhe, Radhe, 
gets so funky and beautiful uh, it's one of my favorites um, so uh, I'll put that in the link below so you can hear what it sounds like in Kirtan and uh, yeah so we'll be doing more of these um, if you guys have any questions feel free to drop a comment below um, and come by support the studio uh, click subscribe uh, so you can uh, get updated when we do other fun things on YouTube Namaste.